Hi everyone, welcome to Strong with Raj. It's Dr. Inga here, and today I'm going to be presenting the second in our series of peptide therapies. Today's peptide is CJC1295. But before we begin, I just want to remind viewers that today's video is purely for educational purposes. I'm not prescribing or recommending any treatments, and as always, you should seek the advice of your health practitioner first. Right, let's get started. CJC1295 is one of my favorite peptide therapies. It is used in terms of anti-aging properties. It helps with recovery and restoration after training, uh, and it also helps with building muscle strength and losing fat. So it has this balancing effect in terms of body composition. CJC1295 is a synthetic peptide and it works by encouraging the release of our growth hormone. As you know, growth hormone is this amazing hormone that's very high in early years of our lives, but it does progressively decline as we get older. Possibly some of the reasons for its decline or its lack of expression is our whole lifestyle. Essentially, adults are not getting enough sleep at the right time for that growth hormone to be released and just the general aging effects uh, of DNA replication, etc. It gets a bit complicated, but ideally we would like to kind of maximize our growth hormone uh, in the system because it does assist with recovery from stress, physical and mental stress. And it also aids in all of those regenerative processes in the body. As you know, I love the idea of muscle health for longevity and wellness. And I always think that muscles are our best health insurance. CJC1295 assists in muscle protein synthesis. So thereby it helps encourage the growth of our muscles and strength as well. It's one of those peptides that also assists with collagen in the skin, the hair and the nails, and it really assists with sleep. So one of the properties of CJC1295 is it encourages deep sleep. And that way our bodies recover from stress much more easily. And it also helps when people are doing shift work or have a chronic sleep impediment. CJC1295 is an injectable peptide that you apply through a subcutaneous injection under the skin in the belly. It's one of those peptides that you use only five out of seven days of the week and you tend to cycle it. So it's not something that you're on permanently. Often I think of a peptide therapy like CJC as a way to sort of kickstart the process of your um, training and well-being journey. It's something that you might use for six to 12 weeks and then you have a break from it. And then a second time in the year, you might use another cycle. How safe is CJC? Well, like many of those peptide therapies, there haven't been many human trials. There's many, many there's an abundance of human uh, anecdotal benefits and a large number of uh, animal or rodent model trials um, to show that the peptide actually does what we're recommending it does. And it also shows that there is a generally good safety profile. However, you have to be mindful that CJC1295 encourages our growth hormone to be released. So through the anterior of the pituitary gland in our brain. Now, when growth hormone is released, it helps to multiply cells and uh, cause what we call replication of cells. So we always like to check with our patients if there's any history of cancer in the body that we don't recommend these growth hormone analog like peptides, simply because growth hormone can encourage the development of healthy cells like muscle cells or skin cells, but it may also encourage the growth of a tumor cell that you may not know you have. So we're always very sure to rule out that the person hasn't had a cancer before we prescribe this therapeutic peptide. One of the regular blood tests that I recommend with patients when they're taking such peptides that encourage growth hormone is every six months they have a full blood count, they check their liver, their kidneys, and a marker called IGF-1. 
which also does increase when we use growth hormone analog peptides. But if it's really high or above the normal range, that could signify that a person has a vulnerability to cancer. And so in that way, we wouldn't recommend this peptide therapy. So overall, I could highly recommend um, investigating peptide therapies over for your general health and well-being. Um, but it isn't for everybody, this particular peptide. So please talk to your peptide prescriber before you consider taking it and make sure that you order your peptides from a very reputable company that use a compounding pharmacy uh, that covers all of the Australian TGA regulations. Uh, that's all for today. I think that's probably enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and next time I'll see you, we might talk about the weight loss peptide semaglutide. Okay, everybody, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content today and stay strong and be well. Bye for now.